guys and welcome back to my channel. So I hope everyone had a fabulous Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is now over. It is in fact Cyber Monday and that means that everyone is in the full swing of the holiday season, getting gifts and everything, uh, doing all your Christmas shopping, and that means that it's time for a gift guide. If you couldn't tell from the video, I thought it would be fun this year to do a holiday gift guide. So the best gifts for travel. So if you have someone in your life who is really into travel, a travel enthusiast, this hat is like itchy, <laughs> um, a travel enthusiast, then this gift guide is for you. So here are my top picks. And if you can't tell, my kitty is here. <laughs> she's saying hello. Say hello. Oh, she's purring. This is Chloe. She doesn't really like to be held that much. <laughs> but she's just being so sweet. She decided to come sit with me for the holiday gift guide. All right, you're free to go. <laughs> so if you see a tail walking by, she's like up here with me. Anyway. So, uh, I have my fabulous, if you couldn't tell, she probably just got fur like all over. Um, I have my fabulous Harry Potter themed Christmas sweater on with Hedwig right in the center. Love Hedwig. Um, and so I'm like all festive with my holiday lipstick and everything, ready to get into this gift guide. So yeah, and if you're wondering where I got the sweater, I will link to it down below for you guys. If there are other Harry Potter enthusiasts out there like myself. Okay, anyway, um, so I have divided this into three different sections. So I'm gonna start with stocking stuffers, so my least expensive uh, holiday gift picks, and I'll move up um, to kind of mid-price gifts. So stocking stuffers are kind of like $20 and under. Mid-price gifts will go from like $20 range up to around $50, and then um, my higher-end gifts will go up into that $100 range. I don't have anything that's over $200, so, you know, we're not going crazy, but just some of my more expensive picks. Those will be um, the last things that I show you. So, um, let's get right into it. We're going to start with stocking stuffers, and I have, like, my little cheat sheet here so I can pr correctly pronounce the names and everything, but I'm going to start with the least expensive item. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is these gear ties. So these are from a brand called Night Eyes, uh, Night Eyes, and they they are gear ties, and they're just these like rubber, uh, reusable twist ties for your electronics. These are the this is a little four pack of the three inch ones, and these were two dollars from Amazon. A lot of the gifts I'm going to show you are uh, can be purchased from Amazon, so really easy online shopping. You don't have to go out anywhere and get them. Simple easy to buy. And I love these. So this is the four pack. So super cheap, $2. Like I said, these are the three inch ones, but they come in a lot of larger packs as well. If you want to get like a 10, 12 pack of these, they come in longer lengths as well for your larger cables. And they're really great for keeping your electronics from becoming a jumbled, tangled mess while you're traveling. They really helped me. Um, so I really like those. I suggest getting someone, a traveler in your life, a case to store their memory cards. And this one, it has a really long name. So this is the Photosy, Photosy, Photosy MC SD12 rubber sealed water resistant memory card case. So rubber sealed, water resistant, will keep your memory cards safe. Just like this hard shell plastic case. And you open it up and it fits 12 memory cards. Oh wait, I do have two in there. I already have two memory cards in there so you can see how they fit. Um, but it fits 12. This was around, how much was this? I got this from Amazon as well. Um, this was $8, around $8 on Amazon. So a great stocking stuffer gift. Very, super affordable, really durable. Um, I like how it snaps shut like that so it's gonna stay shut in your bag in your suitcase and just keeps everything really well protected and you can see on the inside it's like um it's like this heavy duty rubber it's really sturdy really well made so it's going to keep everything really safe and then my last uh stocking stuffer suggestion is a travel book and i'm recommending this one this is 
called Vagabonding, An Uncommon Guide to the Art of Long-Term World Travel by Rolf Potts. This was around $10 from Amazon. And I read, this is one of my favorite travel books I've read this year. If you're looking for the traveler in your life, um, it's all about how to make long-term travel a possibility. And for someone who's interested in maybe traveling long-term, doing an extended like backpacking trip or whatever, um, this would be a great thing to put in their stocking. It's really um, not a very long book, easy read. Uh, has a lot of really good resources within it about how to make money while you're traveling uh, long term and just how to get started with the whole process of planning your trip. So a really good book. And I also want to put out there like travel, there's a whole range of travel books. This is the one I'm recommending, but you know, travel books make great stocking stuffers. 99% of the time they're very affordable. And I would also suggest maybe even a travel journal for someone that would be a great stocking stuffer just to get them a little journal to take on their trip so that they can you know just kind of write down their thoughts because traveling can be such a life-changing experience you definitely want to be able to record those memories as well so travel books travel journals great stocking stuffers um, so moving on to mid price gifts so gifts that are around twenty dollars in between twenty and twenty dollars to fifty dollars uh, the first one I want to show you is this. <clears throat> this is a mini tripod. It's from the brand Manfrotto. Manfrotto? Manfrotto? We'll go Frodo. Sounds like Lord of the Rings. All right. Um, so I got this this year and I love this. So again, picked this up from Amazon. This is a fantastic tripod. Kitty. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so you're being so chatty. <laughs> She's like down here by my feet rubbing up against me. Okay, anyway, um, now she's rubbing against the tripod. Kitty, Chloe. Anyway, so like I said, I got this this year from Amazon. Um, this is a fabulous tripod. It has quickly become like my favorite little mini tripod. It was, let me see how much this was. I have it written down over here on my notes was $24 and I love it because the little legs come out like this and you can put, it fits all different size cameras. I have a Canon uh, DSLR camera and it fits on here perfectly, just screws right in. And I like it because you press this little red button here and you can move the tip of the tripod all around to all different positions, um, all different angles, things like that. And I really like it because the legs fold together and you can put your your camera on this. And then I use this for vlogging with my DSLR because it's small and lightweight when you're holding up like a big giant DSLR camera. It can be really heavy, like my arm gets super tired from holding it out. But having a lightweight tripod makes it a lot easier. And I love to just hold it out in front of me and just vlog. Um, do my travel vlogs like that and it works really really well it's really sturdy really well made super easy to pack in your suitcase it's not going to take up a ton of room doesn't weigh a lot you can pack this in your day bag and it's just really well made and really affordable and something i think every traveler needs and you can actually buy a separate attachment for this for your smartphone so if you want to use the tripod for your smart for your smartphone uh, it works for that too, and I just really like the way it's made. I really like how you can just easily fold the legs out, fold them back together for vlogging, and it's a really great tripod. I've really been getting into this brand lately because they make a lot, a whole range of tripods, and I really, really like this one. So that would be a great um, Christmas gift. So this next gift is actually not from Amazon. Surprise, surprise. Um, so. This is, let me see if I can show this without glaring, because it's in the box still, is a lens travel mug. So this is a travel mug that looks like a camera lens, and I saw this online, and I couldn't resist. I had to get it and include it in my gift guide. Uh, it's awesome. So it looks like one of those big giant lenses like you would put on your camera, and the lid comes off, and it actually the lid acts as a tray, so you can put cookies in it. 
And this is, um, it says by a brand called Thumbs Up, but I purchased this from uh, an online company called Box Lunch, which is actually the same company um, where I got my Christmas sweater from. And I really have been getting into this company. They have a lot of really fun, like whimsical items, especially like nerdy items like Harry Potter, Star Wars, all that kind of thing. Um, but I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so going in my gift guide. And it's like an insulated mug, keeps your drinks, um, I believe it keeps them hot. So yeah, it's like insulated. So if you want to keep, you know, co put coffee in this and it's just, it looks really cool and it's just really fun. So I really liked it. And this was, I want to say this is around $24 as well. Um, yes, around $24. Right now I believe it's actually 30% off. I think I just checked this before I started filming. And it, you can get it for like $18. So this is going to almost be a stocking stuffer. So also super, super affordable. And a great gift idea. I really like that. So this next item is one that I've actually had for a while. And I love it. This is a travel pillow and blanket set. This is from a company called Lug and they make a lot of like travel gear, luggage, things like that. A lot of the things they make are made here in the USA and they make really awesome, great quality products. And I've had this for a long time and I absolutely love it. This is their travel pillow set. This is Agent Pufferton and he's the purple one. Um, they have a whole bunch of these that have like different facial expressions and they have different names to them. Uh, I forget all the rest of the names, but I know this is Agent Pufferton, and I chose this one, one, because I really liked the purple, and two, because the little description of Agent Pufferton said that he was a bookworm, so, and I love to read, so I was like, that's totally me. So this is the pillow, so it's stuffed, uh, and then it has a little handle on it, so if you want to put this, like, hook this to the outside of your carry-on, so that it doesn't take a lot of space inside your carry-on, because it is um, a decent-sized pillow you have that option you can hook it on really easily and then what I really like about it is this the design one it's cute like it looks like a little teddy bear so he unzips like this and then on the inside he opens up and on the inside you have this cozy blanket like this big fleece blanket on the inside which I absolutely love um, and it's nice and like warm and fluffy and so then you have like the little case, he's empty now, he doesn't have a blanket on it. But if you notice, the blanket has this pocket on the inside, or hooked onto it. And if you unbutton the pocket, it has this little inflatable thing on the inside. And so you blow this up, and then you stuff it in here. And I like the inflatable because I can choose like how firm or you know, flexible I want the pillow to be. And you can stuff it in here and you have a little blanket and pillow set. And this is about $32.99 from Lug. And I will link to it below. And it is a fabulous little travel blanket set. So those are my mid price gifts. Let's get into the more expensive things now, the fun stuff. So these are my more expensive gift picks. Um, I'm going to start with the least expensive of this group and then move up to the most expensive thing from this group. Okay, so my first thing that I have to show you is this backpack. I'm obsessed with this backpack. It is fantastic. I've had this for about six months or so. One of my all-time favorite carry-ons. If you know someone who likes to travel and has camera gear that they're packing with them, you know, to take their photos or whatever, uh, or a lot of electronics that they take with them when they travel, this is totally the gift for you, to like for them, I mean. So this is from Case Logic. I got this, again, from Amazon. And it's around $90, so it is pricey for a backpack, but it is just the best, like most well-made backpack that I've ever owned. It is fantastic. So first of all, and it's made to carry your camera gear. So let me go through some of the outside features and I'll show you what's on the inside. So the bottom is one of my favorite parts. It's got this like rubberized bottom, but it's still like so lightweight. It 
Um, so it's going to protect all your gear. And I like it because when you set it down, it stays upright. So when you like set it down like in the airport or whatever, it's going to stay upright and just stay balanced and just keep all your gear safe. And this is all water resistant on the bottom to protect all your gear, which is awesome. The back has these amazing straps. They're super padded, yet it has this little, all these panels back here to allow for air circulation so you're not going to be sweating bullets running through the airport with this backpack on. I love the way the straps are curved because as a woman, I like things to be able to fit, you know, the curves of my body. And so these work well for women as well as men because of the way that they're curved. Um, and then in the back, it has room for a 15 inch laptop. And let me, you know what? I don't even think I said the name of this. This backpack is from Case Logic, but it is the Case Logic SLRC 206 SLR camera and 15.4 inch laptop backpack. Very long name. But if you just put in, um, I'll have it linked below, but if you put in um, just Case Logic camera backpack, this will definitely show up. But as you can see, the inside of it is this fun orange. But so it has this big panel in the back to keep your laptop. It has it's nice and cushioned and padded, so you can put a big honking laptop in this thing, and it's gonna keep it nice and protected. It has straps on the side for a larger tripod. Then it has this side pocket here, which is great for like memory cards. I put my phone and my ID generally in this side pocket so that I can get to it easily. That's what I use that pocket for. Then it has this front pocket, if I can get it open here, that also has all this built-in organization, has like three or four pockets, right? I believe three, three different pockets in here, so you can fit all kinds of things in there as well, like pens, you know, notebooks, whatever. But the real awesome part is this big front panel. So it opens and it has these little Velcro tabbies. So if you have your camera situated in the top of the backpack, all you have to do is unzip it halfway and you can reach your camera right there. But if you want to access the whole thing, you unvelcro these little tabbies, unzip it, and first it's got all this organization in the front. It's all padded right in here, so it's going to keep all of your gear nice and safe. And then if you can't tell from this, it's hard for me to show you, but it's got this fantastic organizational system on the inside. Now, I tried to set this up the way that it would be if you were to buy it, like the way it comes when you buy it. It has like this sling made for your camera. I feel like this is not set up the correct way, but you get the idea. All of these are Velcro and removable, so you can configure this to however you want it to be to fit all of your gear. So if you have like multiple lenses, you can fit a couple different lenses in there. You can fit your electronics, your cords, everything, and then you can sit your big main camera in the top and it's made to sit right here in, the, in this little sling and then have the lens down here and that way you can just reach in and grab it out. And this whole thing can come out. You can configure this however you want it to be and it is amazing. I like the bright orange. I think it looks kind of awesome. I don't know. Um, it's just super well made. The zippers are fantastic and for the price, like you cannot beat this backpack. Like this is a great backpack for travel and for gear. It's super light um, and just a really fantastic, one of my favorite carry-ons to take with me on my travels. And like I said, that retails for around $89 or so on Amazon. $89? Or $79. Oh, $79. $79.99 is what I got it for. It was on sale. Um, it normally retails for $110. However, I've seen it go on sale several times, not just around the holiday season. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you, I also got from Amazon. And it is this. So this is the soft shell pre-sip jacket from Marmot, or I believe is what it's called, yeah. Um, 
And like I said, I will link to it below. So this is from the brand Marmot. I have this fabulous green color. And this is basically just a lightweight shell rain jacket, if you will. Um, it's a little bit pricey. It is around $90. And I know that sounds like a lot for just this lightweight little, what seems like a flimsy little jacket. But I love this rain jacket. It has Gore-Tex in it. So it's super, super water resistant. Will definitely keep you dry. The reason... I got this jacket though is for the underarms and it has these little zippers and it has little arm vents so if you're like in a humid climate like in South America like in the rainforest or whatever and it's super rainy but also super hot at the same time you can unzip the underarms stay dry while also staying cool it has a hood on it that you can roll up so it has a little roll Thing. It has a little pouch on the back where you can tuck the hood away um, into the collar and it has really great zippers and just a, it's just a really well made jacket. I like it. It's super lightweight. You can just crumple this up and just roll it up really small and fit it in any size bag just about and it looks really nice and it's just a really really good shell. It is an investment because it is a little bit pricey for what it is but it's super well made and will last you a long time and if you are a traveler or if you're getting gifts for a traveler good rain gear is a must because and I pretty much take this on every trip because even if it says it's not going to rain I take it anyway because you never know if it's going to rain and so this is would make a really great gift it might not be something someone would normally purchase for themselves because it is expensive but it's a really really good investment and the last thing I have to show you is I have one more travel bag to show you. And it's one of my favorite ones. I actually have had this for a couple years, but they still sell it. And I still like it just as much as the day I got it, so I had to share. So this is from Lug, so the same company that made the bear and pillow set from Lug. Um, this is the Puddle Jumper Gym Overnight Bag, and it retails for $119.99 on their website um, from Lug, but I've seen it. I know they sell it on Amazon, and you can get it for around $90 as well. So a little pricey for a travel bag, but this is one of the best travel bags I've ever owned. It is fantastic. So first of all, the outside of it, well, first of all, it comes in like really fun bright colors because, I mean, and of course I had to get the bright pink because, I mean, come on, look at it. It's fabulous. It has a little lug logo in the corner there. It's this um, water-resistant nylon fabric, so you can just wipe this clean. And there's like so much organization in this bag, which is why I love it so much. So let me take you through the outside, and then I'll show you the inside. On the outside, one of my favorite features of this bag is the bottom. So it has this like plastic piece protecting the bottom and then it has these little feet. So when you have to sit it down on the floor of a plane, on the air, floor of the um, airport, whatever, you know, bags tend to get so dirty. I love the feet. I love the plastic. You can just take a wet wipe and just wipe the bottom of this clean. You can wipe the entire outside of this bag and just wipe it clean. And the color of this, this has been thoroughly, thoroughly used and totally beat up, and it still looks like the day I got it. It holds up super well. So I love the bottom. That was one of my favorite features. That's almost one of the reasons why I bought the bag. Um, it comes with this big crossbody strap that you can remove. It has these little lobster claw straps. You can carry it crossbody. Let me take this off so it's not in the way. So it has an adjustable crossbody strap that you can just remove. And then it has these little shoulder straps as well that Velcro together. So the back of it, it has a little pocket right here for those quick stash items. I love this. It has a little slip, a little Velcro slip so you can put it on top of your larger carry-on or on top of your luggage. And then it has this little zip panel right here and it's made for you to put shoes in. It has a little place for a luggage tag for your name. Let me take you through the front of it. So the front has these two little pockets. So, and then it has even smaller little pockets for like your little items. And then 
It has this big pocket on the front. If I can get it to unzip. And it actually has really fabulous um, zippers, really well made zippers, which is another reason why I like it so much. So it has a mirror, a little detachable mirror that comes out, always handy for travel. It has a pocket on the inside, it has a bunch of pen loops, has a little thing right there. So, so much organization in this. And then it has one of my favorite features is this big magnetic slip pocket. It has a magnetic closure. And then you open it up on the big main compartment and it has a big elastic park in there and it has a zipper pocket here. Um, mine has a water bottle pocket on the inside, but I believe they put the water bottle pockets now on the outside of the newer versions. But then it just has this big open space to fill with whatever you need. Just a really well made bag. And I will say the new version that they have is called the Puddle Jumper. I believe it's the 2.0 version. Mine is the original and they've made a lot of improvements to it. Like um, I know the newer one comes with a removable clear zippered pouch for you to store your liquids in, which is awesome. Um, it has a little cell phone pocket right here so you can just store your cell phone right there. Um, they put, they took a lot of the um, pen loops and things and put it on the main compartment and then it has two water bottle pockets on each side on the outside of the bag whereas mine has it on the inside and I like the outside pockets better so but the look of it is still the same this is a fabulous bag it's just so well made the zippers are really great I love the material so easy to keep clean not very heavy I really like the fact that it um, fits on top of your luggage because I carry on like 99% of the time and I'll have like a large, like a little carry-on suitcase and then my little personal item. And this is usually what I use as my personal item a lot of the times. And I just love that it has that slip pocket feature and it fits really well underneath the seat in front of you on any size plane. I've taken this on all size planes and it fits on any plane. Just a really fantastic travel bag. I will probably do like a what's in my carry-on featuring this bag because it is so fantastic. It has just such great organization built into it and I just, I'm in love with it and it would make a great gift. Now obviously I have the bright pink. If you're buying for a guy, you might not want to get them the bright pink, but it comes in black, gray, green, all different kinds of like more masculine colors than this, but I absolutely love this bag. I can't say enough good things about it. It's a really good company as well. They make a lot of really great travel products. So I would definitely check them out if for your, for future gift purchases. So, and that is everything that I have to show you. Those are all of my top gift picks for this 2016, um, holiday season. And I hope you really liked what I had to show you. If there's something that you think I forgot, please comment down below and give me a suggestion. I love getting gift ideas and suggestions. I'm also putting together a full um, Pinterest page, which will have even more gift ideas than what I had to show you here. So definitely be sure to check that out. I'll have a coordinating blog post going into more detail of all of these gifts as well that I will link for you below. And yeah, so if you like this video, Thank you so much for, uh, so tongue tied. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this video, please hit that like button, share it with your friends. I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday season and happy shopping. Bye.